Lord. Uh, can I tell you what Paul said? Uh, to be absent from the body uh, is to be present with the Lord. Uh, he's coming back. Glory be to God. Uh, uh, Jesus is soon coming for those uh, that are loving his appearing. He's soon coming for those that are loving his appearing. The Bible says he's going to appear in great power and glory. The glory of God has lost no power. The saving grace of God has lost no power. He's still in the saving business tonight, friend. If you have sin in your life, you cannot go where he is. If you have unconfessed, and listen, let me back up and rephrase that. Unconfessed sin will knock you out of entering the kingdom of God. Unconfessed sin will knock you out of going home with him when he appears on the clouds of glory. When he comes for his church, will you be one of them? I would that somebody here in the sound of my voice tonight would begin to pray, would begin to search themselves. Listen to me, Christian. I'm talking to you too. Let us search ourselves and see that we're in the faith. Let us search ourselves and make sure. The best way to do it is not depend on somebody else. If I'm preaching to you, that's good. If I'm touching your heart, that's good. If I'm doing anything to be a blessing, you call this station and let them know. Call them and tell them you've been, you've been blessed by this message. Call and let them know, glory be to God, that you enjoyed this message. Hear me when I tell you tonight, friend, I'm here to be a help to somebody. I'm here to teach you or tell you that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life, that he is the only way. You can't get in no other way. You can't come up no other way. You've got to come through and by him, and he's soon coming. Can I tell you today, friend, He's about ready to step out on the clouds of glory and call his church home. He's about ready, glory to God, to step out and call for those that are loving him, for those that are looking for him. He's going to make a way for you and I today, friend, to pass from life, from death into life. To leave here, to die a mortal death is not the worst thing. To die lost, glory be to God, the Bible talks about the second death of being cast into that lake of fire and brimstone. Honey, there's a far worse death death and dying a mortal death. Can attach a whole different message. Glory be to God. The glory of God I'm talking about. It's still real. It's still alive. Jesus is the Lord of glory. Can I tell you tonight, friend, if you're not, if you don't know him, get on your knees in an altar somewhere and begin to call out on him. Brother Harson would like everybody to be ready to go. Glory be to God. Friend, I, I'm a carpenter. I do carpenter work. I'm not asking for money to help on my program. I can handle that. But if you need a roof on your house, you need hardwood floor in your house, you need siding, windows, or doors, you call Harskins Carpentry. That's how I make my living. That's how I pay my debts. That's how I pay for this airtime. I'm here to be a blessing to somebody. I'm here to tell you that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. I'm here to say to you, night friend, don't lay your head on your pillow until you're as sure for heaven as if you've got your foot already on those streets of gold. It's going to be a glorious time when God's glory fills this land and picks all believers off this earth. Glory be to God. It's going to be a reality. I'm not preaching doom and gloom. The catching away of the church is going to be the most glorious event that ever has ever happened to man. The most glorious event for you and I is his soon coming. Are you ready? As we go off the air tonight, are you ready? Would you be ashamed of him? He's soon coming. Glory be to God. Praise his holy name.